Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Professor Barth, Associate Professor of History at Arizona State University. It's Thanksgiving week. I think there's an excellent case to be made that Thanksgiving is the greatest of our national holidays. If I had to describe the meaning of Thanksgiving with nine words, these are the nine I would select. Gratitude, humility, reflection, prayer, repentance, liberty, charity, family, and brotherly love. That sums up the meaning of Thanksgiving. Well, this time about a year ago, I recorded a six-part lecture series called the Thanksgiving Lectures, in which I explored the meaning of Thanksgiving, but also the history. We took a look at the Puritans and the pilgrims who fled England first for Holland, and then from Holland to the New World. Took a look at that Mayflower voyage and that famous feast of 1621. If you haven't checked out that lecture series, you're going to want to do so. I'll have a link to that playlist at the end of this video, so definitely check it out. But for this video, I want to read an address from our first and arguably greatest president, George Washington. Now, for the last 12 years or so, I've had a tradition of reading this address every Thanksgiving. It's a stellar address, and it, you know, you read it, you're like, Whoa. Yeah. what I wouldn't give to have a man like Washington in command today. Our nation's in desperate need of leadership, and boy, Washington was a man at the right time, at the right moment, 1789. Now, the context of the speech, before I read it, the first Congress, and this was the first Congress, the Constitution had just been ratified, recommended to the president to uh, declare a day of national thanksgiving and prayer. And so President Washington issued that proclamation on October 3rd, 1789, and declared that Thursday, November 26th, would be that day. So let's read and hear what our first president had to say about thanksgiving by the President of the United States of America, a proclamation. Whereas it is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey his will, to be grateful for his benefits, and humbly to implore his protection and favor. And whereas both houses of Congress have, by their joint committee, requested me, quote, to recommend to the people of the United States a day of public thanksgiving and prayer, to be observed by acknowledging with grateful hearts the many signal favors of Almighty God, especially by affording them an opportunity peaceably to establish a form of government for their safety and happiness." End quote. Now, therefore, I do recommend and assign Thursday, the 26th day of November next, to be devoted by the people of these states to the service of that great and glorious being who is the beneficent author of all the good that was, that is, or that will be, that we may then all unite in rendering unto him our sincere and humble thanks for his kind care and protection of the people of this country previous to their becoming a nation, for the signal and manifold mercies and the favorable interpositions of his providence, which we experienced in the course and conclusion of the late war. For the great degree of tranquility, union, and plenty, which we have since enjoyed. For the peaceable and rational manner in which we have been enabled to establish constitutions of government for our safety and happiness, and particularly the national one, now lately instituted. For the civil and religious liberty with which we are blessed and the means we have of acquiring and diffusing useful knowledge, and in general for all the great and various favors which he hath been pleased to confer upon us. And also that we may then unite in most humbly offering our prayers and supplications to the great Lord and ruler of nations and beseech him to pardon our national and other transgressions, to enable us all, whether in public or private stations, to perform our several and relative duties properly and punctually, 
to render our national government a blessing to all the people by constantly being a government of wise, just, and constitutional laws discreetly and faithfully executed and obeyed. To protect and guide all sovereigns and nations, especially such as have shown kindness unto us, and to bless them with good government, peace, and concord. To promote the knowledge and practice of true religion and virtue in the increase of science among them and us, and generally to grant unto all mankind such a degree of temporal prosperity as he alone knows to be best. Given under my hand at the city of New York, the third day of October, in the year of our Lord, 1789. George Washington.